Today I'm going to play The Sims 4. Again. So as anyone who knows me personally will tell you, I am a massive nerd. And perhaps the biggest of any of my fandoms is, is my love for The Lord of the Rings. I have read the books a million times, listened to the audiobooks a million times, I have watched all 12 hours of my extended edition DVDs straight through more times than, than I care to admit. When I was a kid, I asked my mom for a David Sallow's book on Tolkien's fictional language, Sindarin, and I learned it. So a couple years ago, in The Sims, I built Bag End. Watched the movies and took screenshots and used Weta Workshop plans and maps for references and tried to recreate it as as perfectly as I could in The Sims. And I think I did a pretty good job. But all of that was well before terrain tools were introduced. I did a lot of ridiculous move object wizardry to make it look like it was under a hill. But now I want to take the house under the hill and actually put it under a hill. And in my absolute hubris. I thought, I can do that in a day. I, it's fine. It's just a little terrain modification. It's just a little re-landscaping. That shouldn't take me too long. I'm, I'm gonna finish it eventually. But what I'm gonna do today is revamp another little hobbit hole that I made. I made a starter home version of a hobbit hole. So this will be like a little mini version of the massive task that I set myself by redoing Bag End. <laughs> so, okay. Okay, so here we are in my little cozy hobbit hole starter that I made forever ago. So let's take a tour of, of what it looks like now. Here's the outside. It's pretty darn cute, I think. Yeah, I put all these flowers around and all of these. <laughs> So this is just a million hedgerows, and, and that's how I made it look like it was a, a little rectangular hill. Um, and that worked fine at the time, you know, it, 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 it did the job, but, but now I want to do a better job. So let's, uh, let's see what it looks like on the inside. <laughs> Yo, it's so empty. <laughs> it's so empty, there's nothing. There's nothing at all because I wasted all my money on the damn hedgerows. First, I'm gonna start by just, let's just get rid of all of these. I got rid of all of the plants. I got rid of the windows and doors. So now we just have a bare box to work with. Now I am concerned that the size of the lot, and I don't want to get a bigger lot because I want this to still be affordable. I want for the hill to have an even slope going all the way up, and I am concerned that the space on either side that I currently have is not going to be enough to not make this place look like it's on a cliff. And I don't want it to be on a cliff, I want it to be on a hill. Maybe we need to change the layout. Yeah, let's change the layout some. I think that is a perfectly reasonable layout here for this little for this little hobbit home. Let me see. Yeah, there's more space on either side than there was. Is there? I hope there is. <laughs> I think there is. It's, I feel like there is. Before I go decorating all of this, let me let me do some do some terrain work and see if this will actually do what I want it to do. Alrighty. So let me put. I wonder if I could just smooth it out from here. And it would do what I wanted to do if I put it on really slowly. Okay, yeah, 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 there it goes. It's kind of doing it. All right, I think that looks fine for now. It looks a little more hilly. It's still a little bit like it's wearing a hat, but we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna make it better. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and pull a bunch of debug objects. I'm super duper not above using all the free debug stuff to make, especially themed starter homes like this look the way they need to look to match the theme that you're going for. I was in the middle of going through and pulling everything I want. That's that's how I do it because I hate having to go back and searching for it again because you can't I drop any of them. But then I started seeing all these grasses 
and you know how I just said I'm not above using a bunch of debug items to make it look how I need it to look. I'm thinking I want to get rid of all of this <laughs> and just make it a grass roof instead. Then it'll look so much less like it's wearing a hat. So far I like it, but it is looking very flat. So I do think I need a little bit of, of poof. So yeah, okay. All right. A little, a little dome guide that <laughs> looks cute. Okay. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Let's put, um, oh yeah, 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 yeah. This not so drab slab comes in this like kind of weird mossy green, but that's okay. I can work with that. Let's start grassing up the place. That looks good already. One down, a million to go, probably. Cat break? This is Bean. She's a good old lady. Goodbye. Boy, that took forever, but I really, really like the way it came out. Like, it's just grass all around, baby. Now, now I want to get the rest of the landscaping put in place and, and really focus on the outside of this build today. I don't think I'm going to get to the inside today. We'll do that in another video. I want to focus now on, on this little garden. I think I want to do that. I think I have space in my brain for that first. And I like the little terrain paints I've got going. These little debug stones are really fun. I'm just going to throw them in here. I've already put on some of these awesome little I know they don't technically go with these fences, but these cool like flower vine fence things um, and to fill them in and to make it look less like there's random stuff growing there, I'll put these little grasses in there because I like to like to get something that's not green to really bring out the green. Let's gather them around these stones. This little terraced area. Let's get a bench in there. I like this little ornate one. Although, well, this one is really good too. This maybe, let's just go with this one because it's it's more simple. We're gonna get, gonna get the old standby hedgerow here. Yay, pretty. Okay, ooh, you know what I want over here? I want that birdhouse. There it is, a little birdhouse. Oh my God, I'm absolutely putting that down. I love it. Yeah, that is precious. Look how cute. I'm gonna line my line my garden with these. What do hobbits prize more than a garden? Is it worth it to try to put a little pond here for interest? Not a fishing pond, just, you know, like a fountain disguised as a pond. Maybe, boy, it feels empty over here. I like that. Now, let's get some stuff on it. I like those stones. Now we're gonna need, <laughs> I gotta go back and get more grass. Oh, these ferns are really nice. Let's put these ferns here. Can we put them there? Great. That does a lot of cover for us. Yes, this. Ooh, that fits right there. Oh, that's fun. I like that. Is there a smaller one? Yes. Yes, there is a smaller one. Oh, I like this sort of brassy, coppery grass here. Oh. That'll work. Yo, that does a lot of the work for me. I don't hate that at all. Kind of just want to leave leave that that little stretch over there open so it's very very clear. Hey, you can you can get in here. And just like that, I ran out of storage on my camera. But I got some terrain painting done while I was offloading some some video, and we're we're done. This is it. This is what the outside of my little cozy hobbit hole starter home looks like. Isn't that cute? I think it's super cute. Look how pretty is that. I'm so pleased with the little pond. I'm so pleased with the way the roof turned out. I'm really happy I, I took all the time to do that. This took forever. <laughs> God, and I cannot imagine how much more forever a bag end is going to take, especially now that I thought to do this grass stuff. Oh well, that's a problem for another time. I'm gonna do the inside tomorrow.